Well, I went grocery shopping this morning for a total of $13.36. I bought six chicken thighs, leg quarters. They were $4.37 at HEB. I have not tried their pork sausage. I picked up a package of it for $2.99. And I picked up a dozen eggs. I know this sounds terrible. I didn't look before I went, so I wasn't sure if I had enough to get through. I think I've got enough for this week, but not enough for next week. And I don't want to go back next week. I have half a gallon of milk already, but I went ahead and picked up a gallon because I don't plan on going out for a little while. The weather's turning colder, which means that more people are going to be huddling together, which runs up the risk of coronavirus. Yes, I know you're sick of hearing about it, but I don't want to get it again. <laughs> I looked through it once. I don't want it again. And they had Duncan Hines cakes on sale. But only if you bought the chocolate, the vanilla, uh, the chocolate, the white, or the yellow cake mix. Not their lemon. Their lemon was $1.50. But I have not tried this one, or at least if I have, I don't remember it. But uh, HEB's Hill Country Fair was for $1.24 for a lemon. I am thinking about when I get tired of winter. <laughs> Having some lemon cake just brings in spring for me. Um, it's not something I eat regularly. So you might be thinking, oh, what's the purpose behind what you bought? Okay, this is not just trying to pick things that are on sale. There's a thought behind it. This week, my meat for lunch or dinner, let's say dinner, is going to be leg quarters. I still have some asparagus in there and some more Brussels sprouts that I need to eat. Because it turns out I have a frozen package of Brussels sprouts, so I need to eat that fresh package. So I'm going to have leg quarters this week with asparagus tips, which are still good by the way, and Brussels sprouts. I'm going to make homemade pizza dough and cook this pork sausage, not all of it, probably a third of it, because it's going to be a big cookie sheet pan. Of pizza because I pulled out some mozzarella cheese out of my freezer about three weeks ago two or three weeks ago and I haven't used it it's probably two weeks ago our last cool spill that came through that put the temperatures in 40s and I didn't get around to cooking it I pulled it out to make pizza so I need to get it used because it's been in the freezer so it degrades a little bit when you do that so I'm going to make pizza this week and chicken the lemon's going in storage. The eggs are just back up because I want to have to go out again next week if I can help it and the milk is just back up. I know this probably looks gross. It is raisins. I had some raisins in the refrigerator that turned into hard little rocks, you know, in those little snack size packs for when the grandkids come and they haven't been used up. But if you soak them overnight, they will swell up and they'll be just fine. So for breakfast this week, I am having some oatmeal, oatmeal out, applesauce, raisin, cookie bars kind of thing, breakfast bars. You know, let's call it what it is. It's a cookie bar for breakfast. That's going to be my breakfast this week. So I want to make sure I have enough eggs in the house for the, the extra baking that I will be doing. It's not to eat eggs by themselves per se. So... There's my week in a nutshell what I am eating. Pizza, chicken, and breakfast bars. Oatmeal, applesauce, raisin, breakfast bars. That's a mouthful. Oatmeal, applesauce, raisin, breakfast bars. Yeah, you guys have a wonderful week. Enjoy the cold weather. I'm enjoying it. I'm so excited. Well, my cookie bars are in the oven, along with the chicken baking, and I have my yeast dough for the pizza rising, and that will take about 45 minutes. I don't know if I already told you there's some alterations I made to this recipe. Instead of a half cup of sugar and a half cup of brown sugar, I put three quarters cup sugar in there, and 
probably a fourth of a cup of molasses, blackstrap molasses with uh, a little bit of honey mixed in, just a quarter cup worth. Uh, when it comes to the ground cinnamon, I put less cinnamon and I put some allspice in there and the nutmeg. Uh, cinnamon does not sit well with me in my tummy, so I don't put as much of that in there. So, and I made it up with allspice because I love allspice. And I did the large egg. Instead of the butter, I used applesauce. And uh, you saw my raisins. There's probably not a cup and a half of raisins in there. Now, this, because it has applesauce in it, will not sit out on the counter. After I get what I want for today, it will stay in the refrigerator. Anytime you put applesauce in a batter, my mother always told me that that has to go in the refrigerator because it will stay moister. Moister? Yeah, that's the word I want. Moister. Not moisture, but moister. It will stay more moist than something made with oil and it's more likely to attract mold. So, do put it in the refrigerator if you do the alterations that I do. Now, if I was in a pinch and I did not have large egg, then I could use the flax seed that I have in there. Ground up some flax seed, mix it with a little bit of water, and add it to it. Okay, so I will leave this recipe that I got online at the end of this video. Okay, just in case you want to try it, I will also leave the pizza dough recipe for you. There's my oatmeal breakfast bars done. I have a fan running in the background. I apologize for the noise, but if I'm cooking in the kitchen and it's a cold day, I'm going to suck the heat out of the kitchen and put it into the rest of the house because I don't need to bake in the kitchen while I'm baking. So I pull it out of here with the fan blow it into the rest of the house to where it can be, you know, spread around. Because I'm not turning my heater on yet. Yeah, Thursday's going to get down to the 30s and to freezing. But I've already got my pipes done outside. Oh, except for the ones here on the back side. I need to unscrew the hose and be done with that. I'll water the plants, though, before the freeze comes. I should tell you I have no intention of icing this unless I find that it is not sweet enough. In which case I may mix up some powdered sugar and uh, some lemon juice or maybe just even powdered sugar and a little bit of water and drizzle over it but I really don't like sweet in the morning and this to me sounded to me like it had enough sugar in it already it's after 12 I have had breakfast or lunch and there's a side of me that wants to jump in there and eat some of that breakfast bread that I made but I've got chicken in the oven and look at my pizza dough guys it's a rising I should have took you a picture of it earlier when I first did it it is rising the yeast is still good Woohoo! I'm so excited I'm gonna make homemade pizza I haven't done that in years I mean I use flour tortillas sometimes and make it but I haven't done this recipe in forever. I don't know if you can read it, but these raisins were supposed to be eaten by September 30th of 2019, and this is now mm, almost November. November comes this week of 2023. They were like little rocks, but now guys, I don't keep my raisins in my cabinet with my other dried goods. I find that raisins that you buy in the store are moister than what I do when I dehydrate. So I keep mine in the refrigerator. And <laughs> I'm going to tell you, they were, they were little rocks, little itty bitty rocks. And I soaked them overnight and there's what the bread looks like. And no, I'm not trying any of it right now and telling you how it tastes. It smells wonderful. Um, because I'm waiting for the pizza. <laughs> I have my priorities straight. I'm a waiting on pizza. But I cut a slice to show you. I cooked him a little bit longer than what the recipe calls for because of the extra uh, applesauce that was in there. Okay, but he's nice and moist. I guess I could try a little piece here for you. Oh, that is good. 
See, I love nutmeg mm. and allspice. Stop eating, dude. I want pizza. Pizza's got a lot of carbs. Oh, that is so good. I love nutmeg and allspice more than I do cinnamon. So when I throw that stuff in there, to me, that is just absolute heaven. So if you have someone in your family who can't eat cinnamon, it upsets my stomach. Just a wee bit. We'll do it. So, but I can't eat all spice and I can't eat nutmeg. So I add those in in place of cinnamon. So anyway, mm, that is so good. I'm going to stay out of it though because it's for breakfast for the rest of the week and I'm going to have pizza just as soon as I got 20 more minutes before I can fix my pizza. Okay, I used up my tomatoes that are going wrinkly. I've used up one third of the sausage roll I bought today. I used two slices of forest ham, black forest ham. I used three spears of asparagus in this corner and some broccoli there and I used some uh, pickled red green tomatoes, I mean uh, peppers. So I'm pretty happy with the look of that. Oh, and I used some uh, dried basil out of my garden. So yeah, I'm gonna pepper those and salt those Brussels sprouts and then I'm gonna put this in the oven. And as the pizza is going into the oven, the chicken just came out. It is going to be a very, very good week. <laughs> I'm so happy for the cooler weather. Thank you, Lord. I did eat a little bigger piece of this, but I'm saving room for the pizza. This was actually a little too sweet. I was afraid it would be when I saw the recipe with that much sugar going in it. I think the half cup of sugar and the little bit of molasses would have been plenty for me. But then I've had this thing ever since I've had COVID that everything is too sweet, but this is edible. But it's sweeter than I care for. But yeah, thank you, Lord. It's going to be a good week. I love baking. I love cooler weather.